And welcome to your daily love reading. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. We will start with um, Aries. Um, and then go on to Leo and then Sagittarius. So I will try to timestamp it. All right. Aries, your focus card today. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. You got new life. How amazing is that? So this is all about either, either new energy is entering an old relationship, giving it a new, a new breath of life, or new relationships are forming. Um, I feel a lot of vibrancy a lot of like sweet energy that new feeling um really really connect with others right now um because you got a lot of excitement and passion and joy to um share with others wow that is just amazing um, it's also like a lot of mutual respect, mutual feelings, just that sweetness um, feeling. So very awesome, Aries. All right, Aries men. Let's do Aries men and women, I guess. Aries men, you have the six of wands. Aries women, you have the sun. Your guys' um, situation that you're dealing with is temperance. It is challenged by the ace of wands. All fire energy here. Look at that. In your recent past, you have the fool. In your near future, you have the two of cups. This is absolutely amazing, Aries. Bottom of your deck and crowning your, or the foundation of your reading is the King of Swords. Behind that is the Chariot and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So crowning your energy, a King of Swords. So, um, absolutely amazing. A new life coming out of a very transformative period for both you men and women. Um, finding somebody who, um, almost shares your journey with you, shares excitement about life, shares um, their feelings. Finally, this person could have been very um, cut off, closed off in the past if this is somebody that you are already partnered with. Um, but they're coming out of a trans transformation and the two of you are moving forward quickly towards victory, towards success, towards healing, um, towards a new life. Look at that in the back of the chariot is the lotus flower the sign of new life wishes coming true look at all those shooting stars absolutely amazing okay so uh aries men you guys could be dealing if you are attracted to men with an air sign that's gemini libra aquarius um if you um, are attracted to women you are finally taking charge taking action and moving forward um Taking that leap of faith with somebody. You could have gotten out of a, a relationship of your past. Um, you removed yourself from a difficult situation. And you healed in the proper way. And really just set out on your own journey. All by yourself. Um, with the hope of finding balance. With the hope of finding healing energy. Um, with the hope of finding yourself. You didn't want anything that was, you know, quick. Like a flashbang, you know, and then it's over. You really wanted to take your time um, with this next new beginning. And by you healing, by you doing that, uh, you are in the near future drawing in a soulmate energy um, and finding a lot of success at that. So let's see what 
The Six of Wands is for our Aries men. There's a six. Tell me about the Six of Wands. You could be getting a lot of recognition as well. Yeah, you find success when you walked away from a difficult situation. Um, like I said, you uh, removed yourself from a situation and found healing from some situation that that you knew it was for your best and highest good to walk away. Some of you just cut your losses and left everything just, just to get out of a situation. Some of you, um, you just knew that it was in your best interest to get out of that situation. You could have been with somebody who was very emotionally abusive. Um, and you're rising above. You know that there's hope for you out there with this new life card. It's just, you're really optimistic right now. And it's like a magnet. Wow. Could be dealing with another Sagittarius. We got two wheels, plus we had the wheel at the bottom of the deck, or two cards of Sag, plus we had the wheel at the deck. But things are moving forward in a positive way. Bottom of your deck is a six of wands. In a positive way. Um, releasing what was holding you back is going to propel you into the future. By you being so optimistic, um, it's bringing in, or it's raising your vibration, bringing in people that can counteract that. Um, you're having a lot of new ideas inspiring you in your dreams to come true, and that's bringing you new opportunities um, for you to get yourself out in the world, for you to have uh, a new beginning, but not only that, you're experiencing it like an energy burst uh, that is making you feel renewed and allowing your heart to fill with that enthusiasm of a new life. You're finally seeing um, light on the horizon. <clears throat> oh. Tell me more about this temperance. You really just uh, got into the zone of doing your own thing, healing uh, whatever pains of the past that came up. And you were about having fun with your friends, going out, you know, drinking, laughing. And it's really bringing balance back into your life. You could have been with somebody who didn't want you to go out with your friends. You can't go out with your friends unless I come with you. Something like that. They really um, made it very energetically difficult for you to go out and have fun with, you know, friends or, or alone. Because they were very, um, very controlling. But now, by you getting yourself out there, by you having this fun, you are truly truly bringing in opportunities for a new beginning because you are just out doing you you weren't looking for love and when you're not looking for love bam love finds you tell me more about this two of cups wow bottom of the deck lovers beautiful okay so you are finding um finding the courage to move and take that leap of faith not you're already here. You're already single. You're already, you know, just doing you. By you being out and being with your friends, it's bringing in a lot of healing for you and bringing back in, bringing balance back into your life, opening all these doors of opportunity. And here comes somebody who totally hits you with Cupid's arrow out of the blue. Communication is going to begin to open up uh, with this person very quickly. And it's very quickly going to get intimate as far as your conversations. Um, connecting mentally, spiritually, emotionally, um, sexually as well. But I feel that's not at the top of the priority list. Like you truly enjoy talking with this person, getting to know with this person. Um, and it's going to be very successful for you. Remember, you have the six of wands um, and you're coming in at such a beautiful high vibration that it can't help but be successful. Let me get one more for this two of cups. One more. Why is this two cups here for Aries men? Or ten more. <laughs> okay. This one. Yes. This is coming to you because you have healed. Look at that. Bottom of your deck again. Six of wands. 
You have healed the heartache of the past. You now realize that there are two cups sitting behind you and that there's no reason to think back on regrets or sadness or heartache um, of what didn't work out. You're seeing the potential um, of this relationship and it is really um, here for you. It's really here to start this new beginning, to have fun and enjoy yourself. Take your time. Most definitely this is coming in after you got out of a difficult situation. Um, could have met this person online as well, but a lot of communication back and forth for the two of you, just getting to know each other and having, um, having a good time together, not putting so much pressure on each other, um, in this relationship. Let's get Aries men, your romance card real fast. One card for Aries men, please. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Not everybody's going to break your heart like the person that you um, got away from. Trust that uh, the divine sends you every person in your life for a reason. But most importantly, this is going to be a strong soulmate connection for the two of you with this two of cups. All right. Aries females. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius as well. Um, or a cancer I'm seeing also for you Aries women. Um, this person is finally taking action. It, they could be like a Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius rising. Um, so a lot of you may not even know what their rising sign is. But um, did I have backwards cards in there? I could have swore I just seen a bunch of them flip the wrong way. Maybe not. Um but most definitely, you could be dealing with a very strong um, individual, very stubborn individual. Um, but they are finally taking action and moving forward away from a difficult situation. This has been on delay. Could be a Virgo as well or a Sagittarius. But this could have been moving very slow. But when you take action and remove yourself out of the equation, they all of a sudden feel you uh, pulling away and they're coming at you like... A shot out of a gun but you aren't even really focusing on that you're really focusing on putting your best foot forward so um, having something new uh, you also are having a lot of new ideas coming in for you you could be um, meeting a new friend and that is like a soulmate energy for you that's very strong um, very positive um, you're also like You, you have a lot of opportunities that are showing you like what is out there, what life has to offer. Instead of waiting on this person that has been very slow, um, you're starting to see that there is opportunities out there besides this other person. You are feeling that exuberant energy, that, that awesome just vibrancy that is at a whole new level. Um, and you are going to see that things are coming in and are starting to appear in your life in very surprising ways. Um, you're very curious. And you just have this feeling that now that you are cutting yourself away from that, or not cutting yourself away, but no longer waiting on this person, you can feel that you are now stepping into the right path. You can feel that your hopes and dreams are about to be fulfilled. And it's like a new life is suddenly infusing you know, your projects, your work, your creative ideas, your family relationships. And it's just sending a, a kind of electricity that crackles, you know, with, with potential. Um, because it's, you can like feel the warmth of the sun. You can feel that fortune is about to shine down on you. Um, you're also like acknowledging with these two together the that you may be inexperienced um, in something and you may need to um, be taught. You know, somebody may be coming in and showing you the way to do something. That's on a side note, but um, you are at the beginning of things that, that you have not yet to experience. Uh, and you are just like immersing yourself in the warmth and the newness of everything. You're really realizing, too, that in this new life, that 
it's like a, it has its own timetable. Uh, and you're now really being in the here and now. You're really focusing on, you know, what's going to make you happy, what it means to step into your path, what it means to find balance after an imbalanced situation, what it means to just go out and do you. Who cares what anyone else is doing? I'm going to go do what I want because I want to do it. And hey, I'm single. I can or semi single or in separation or, you know, this for for the majority of you, um, this is somebody new or somebody that is returning um, in a new way. Remember it said or remember I said it's either new air being breathed into an old relationship or something completely new. But for you Aries women, you're really finding an emotional balance. You're enjoying nature. You're getting out there. You're watching you're watching the sunset um, for the first time in I don't know how long. You're getting out. You're starting to socialize. Um, you're going out with, you know, your friends. You're having a good time. And you're just doing life in an amazing way. Why is the sun here for Aries? Whoa. Okay, like I said, you are, fo or, you know, you could have a lot of new opportunities and abundance and bounty starting to appear um, with you because you're working hand in hand with spirit. Um, somebody could be returning back to you that says, hey, let's work this out. Can we do this or not? This is what I expect. This is what I want is what you need to say. If they're not able to do that, then, um, then, you know, it may be time to move on. You also got the moon. You are experiencing life in a whole new, deep, intuitive way. Um, you also have the sun and moon here. So this may be a twin coming back to you. Um, and they're saying, hey, let's work this out. They had to go through a transformation. They had to leave another situation. Um, and there was some delay to this. Um, is what I'm seeing as well. Could be a Virgo, could be a Leo, Cancer, a Sagittarius, or an Aries here. Why is Temperance here for our Aries woman? Look at that, the sun. You are stepping into your religious path. You are stepping into your spiritual path. Um, and you are radiating at such a high vibration, at such a beautiful light, that you are attracting in beautiful love. So many of you are light workers, and I'm hearing let your torch burn high enough for people in the darkness to find you. Um, continue to do you. Continue to be out there having fun, having a good time, doing what it is that you want to do. Um, having the courage and the strength to um, face your fears and move forward. Um, do not hold on to anybody. Uh, if they are meant to be, they will return. But by you holding on to somebody, you stay stuck. No matter how bad you wish and hope and try to manifest them back, as long as you're sitting there waiting in uh, a lower vibra vibration, they will not return. And you're figuring that out because the universe is illuminating your path and bringing you to a place of balance. Most definitely with uh, the sun and moon, now the sun twice. Um amazing energy they could be a leo um as well but this is just you being in the right path once you move forward once you take that leap of faith single on your with yourself um learning to balance out those uh negative and positive emotions um you know finding that that perfect balance that inner peace it brings in a new opportunity a spark of creation uh doors just opening for you that you never expected yeah, by you letting go of the pain of the past, by you coming to the end of this cycle, you could be the one that is healing. Um, and your path was on delay because you had to heal first. Um, but you're doing that. That is a 10 in the upright. This is released and now you're getting this new beginning. Aries. Why is it two a cup here for Aries? Once again, this could be somebody from your past returning that you feel did betray you in the past, especially if you're on this twin journey um, because the sun and moon came out together and then the sun and temperance. For some of you, this most definitely is a twin and a soulmate at the very least. All right, why is this two cups here for Aries females? And this is just a whole new life for 
oops, you guys. Look at that. A whole new life for you guys. Communication is coming in for you from somebody of the past, Aries females. And taking this leap of faith and trusting yourself that this was your journey to begin walking on your own, it is going to bring in that other person because your vibration is going to be um, so high that an olive branch will um, be given out in an offer for, hey, let's work this out. Let's try this again. Let's give this a new chance. And it's going to feel so good um, to you, Aries females. Make sure you guys check me out on Vimeo where your extended reading will be, where we will um, go through and see what signs are coming in for you and get a little bit more clarity on where the outcome is going, what's blocking it from coming in right now, and a time frame of when this will be coming in. All right. Aries females. One card for Aries females. Okay, we will, wow, 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 okay, so first off, this is a romance of a lifetime, whoever you are thinking about, whoever this is resonating with in your life, um, this is true love, so very soon, clearly decide what it is that you want, because it is coming in for you, um, and your prayers, your affirmations, and your visualizations help bring you together because you are now calling in your soulmate after you have taken this uh, leap of faith within yourself. Um, it's now bringing in that soulmate energy. So I'm seeing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces. I think that's that's all I see for you females. So if any of those signs ring a bell, um, check me out on the Vimeo side where you will um, get a little bit more clarity on who's all here, what they're up to, where they're at, when they're coming, to the best of my ability. So check me out. Aries, thank you so very much for coming to my channel. I am, I know I started out in the beginning saying that we do Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I'm just going to cut this off at Aries because um, I just spent 25 minutes on your sign alone. So um, I'm just going to do them separate so it doesn't get to be too long and take forever to upload. So, all right, guys. Thank you so very much for joining me. Much love.